Hey folks, it's Sean McCormick from Lightroom Blog and today we're going to take a look at a labs.adobe.com plugin called DNG Recover Edges. This allows us to take back extra information from our raw file, stuff that's created by the sensor but not necessarily made visible in the file as it's created. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for this. Some is that the sensor has extra information on the edges, it may not be a whole lot. Or, like newer cameras, like Micro Four Thirds cameras, offer you options whereby you can crop the raw file. So, you can go from what was the Micro Four Thirds 4.3 ratio to, to 16.9 to a 3.2 or something like that. So here we have something that's close to a 3.2 ratio rather than a 4.3. So I know that I've got extra information I can get from it. Let's say I wanted to have more of the legs of this donkey to move. The horse rather, a slanted horse. We can move the eye up slightly in the shot. So you can see our, our dimensions and our crop dimensions are 4.608 by 3.072. So we're going to get some stuff back. But to do that we actually need to download the plugin. So you download the plugin. Uh, from here, labs.adobe.com slash technologies slash Lightroom plugins. Then you click to download the plugins for Photoshop, Lightroom, and then you can download them basically from there. Okay, there are installation instruction, instructions here, but we're going to show them anyway. So to install it, you go to File, um, Plugin Manager, and then you come down here and you click Add. Now I've already installed it and uninstalled it in practice on at the right folder already, but you just navigate to the folder. So you select the plugin and then click add plugin. And that shows up. Now generally speaking I would have my LR plugin files in a folder called LR plugins in my documents so that I can you know basically access them all together. But just for the sake of neatness I have it done from that one folder so you can see it happening. So we click done, so that's now ready to go. But like it says, it's DNG recover edges. This is an Olympus RAW file ORF, so it needs to be a DNG. So we're going to convert it. So you go to Library, Convert Photo to DNG. In our options, I'm going to only convert RAW files uh, because you know I'm really pulling stuff back from the RAW. It's not going to be there with a JPEG, and I don't want to delete the original. I'm going to keep the original file. Now what's going to happen is the file will get taken out of the Lightroom library, but it'll be left on the disk. So I'm just going to delete or I'm not going to delete originals after conversion. Now I'm just going to set it up for a camera all 6.6 .6 and I'll get the embed fast load data. I'm not going to go for lossy compression with this and I'm not going to embed the original raw file, we'll just make it much larger. So I'm going to click OK. Now if we look down here we'll see the ORF and we click OK. And this ORF will become a DNG, so that's now a DNG file. But if I go to a photo to show in Finder we can see that we have the DNG and we still have the raw file even though it's no longer in the actual catalog itself. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run this program. So we've seen here that we have this 4608 by 3072. So file, plugin extras, DNG recover edges, apply. So apply, it's asking us so we apply it to the one photo and we would click OK to do it. And what it does is it creates a second uh, copy basically. So if we click on that copy now it looks exactly the same, but if we come over here we can see that we have a cropped uh, dimension and we have a different full size dimension which is 4640, so we've got 32 extra pixels there, 3472, uh, so an extra 400 pixels there. So to see that I need to go into develop and I need to go in to crop itself. Now I could have just pressed the OR key but I wanted to actually show you uh, physically how to get to it. So we can see here we got these extra 32 pixels here and we got this extra up on top and bottom so 200 pixels either side. So if I click reset that will give us the full size of the image and I'm going to select both images and I'm going to press the N key to go straight to survey. So it will let me go. Yeah there we go. <clears throat> so we're at the N key let me go. And we can see that you have this difference between the two images. Another difference as well is you look at the file name. This file has underscore full at the end of the name compared to the original image, the original DNG. So I'm just going to press OR to jump back to de develop again. So I'm going to go with that 3x2 crop again and pull it down. So we can see that we've changed the image. So if I go backwards and forwards between the two, you can see the difference that it's made. This could be handy if you had a situation whereby you were shooting with this crop and you realised that you wanted to pull back more information. It's very handy to do. Uh, and of course, the best thing of course is that it's free. So if you're interested in that, you go to labs.adobe.com and you can download it from there.